Right, do you want to know how I made these insanely delicious but super simple chocolate cupcakes? Of course you do, because they're a Mary Berry recipe, which means they cannot go wrong, unless you're me. But these don't go that wrong, so stay tuned to the very end, and do remember to like and subscribe, it is very much appreciated. And if you're new here, big welcome. Uh, on this channel, as you can see, I've made loads of different things, and I'm just on a journey of learning how to bake. And as you can see from the cupcakes, it's going all right. It's going all right. Anyway, let's just get straight into today's video. So you're gonna need four tablespoons of boiling water. Obviously be careful. I don't wanna sound like a mum here, but you know, it's boiling water, it's, it's, it's kind of hot. So just be careful when you're measuring it out. Then you can need 40 grams of cocoa powder. This is just for the actual cake itself. You will need a bit more for the icing sugar. But again, I feel like cocoa powder smells like it should taste nice and actually on its own probably tastes disgusting. Then you're gonna need three medium sized eggs. Again, I don't know if these are medium sized, but they worked, so I guess so. Then you're gonna need 175 grams of unsalted butter. I've become an expert now at making sure my butter is soft. So instead of just doing all these tips and tricks about how to actually soften it, as soon as you know you're baking anything, just get a stick of butter out and assume you'll need it. Top tip. Then you'll need 145 grams of golden caster sugar. I don't know why it has to be golden, but whatever Mary says goes. So golden caster sugar it is. Then you're going to need 115 grams of self-raising flour. Um, they write in the recipe that make sure it's white self-raising flour, but I'm pretty sure that's self-evident. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. Anyway, the self-raising flour we've used on everything else. That stuff. Then you're going to need one teaspoon of baking powder, not baking soda. If you watched my cookie video, um, that, that one went wrong because I used the wrong thing. Don't do that. There you go, that's what baking powder looks like. Then you're gonna need another 60 grams of butter and another 30 grams of cocoa powder for your buttercream. Um, again, make sure your butter's soft when you use it, it just saves you so much stress. You'll also need three tablespoons of milk. Mary says that you need whole milk, but I didn't have any, and semi-skimmed worked fine. So not to go against the queen of baking, but if you don't have it, it's not the end of the world. You'll also need 250 grams of icing sugar, or I didn't realize Americans call it powdered sugar, the more you know. Icing sugar, um, and it always feels like a lot, but it's worth it. And you'll also need some decorations. Now, I had some chocolate like chip decorations in the cupboard, and then when I got to make these, they weren't there because my partner had just eaten them out of the tube. Who does that? Anyway, it had to be sprinkles because I had no other option. Anyway, let's get into it. You're going to need to preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius and you're going to need to line your muffin tin with uh, paper cases. I chose blue this time because those are the only ones I had left in the cupboard. Then you're going to need to sift your cocoa powder into a large bowl and you're going to add your boiling water and just mix it all together. The smell of this is insane, like ridiculous. So if you want a nice smelling kitchen that smells like sort of a chocolate factory, this is all you've got to do. Like, forget the actual cupcakes, just sift some cocoa powder and put some boiling water in it. It smells amazing. But yeah, just to make sure to sift it so you've got no lumps and bumps in there, makes it so much easier to mix as well. And you're just going to mix it into a thick paste um, to start off your the sort of base for your chocolate cupcakes. And then once you've done that, you're literally just going to add all the other ingredients. That's all you've got to do. Add it all in and then you're going to whisk it all together or beat it with a wooden spoon if that's more your vibe. You can see the eggs started rolling away from me at this point, but ignore that. Then, yeah, you're just going to use your whisk. I accidentally used the wrong whisk attachment, so that's why it looks a bit funny. But it worked, it just took a bit longer. So I'd recommend using an electric whisk, but if you beat it by hand, it's a good workout. and Maybe you burn the calories that you'll eat when you actually eat the chocolate cupcakes. But they're worth it, don't worry about it. Then all you've got to do is divide that mixture into your cupcake cases, that's it. Like that's, that stuff right there is delicious and it took no effort, like zero effort. So I really recommend these if you've been like either craving something sweet and you can't be bothered to make anything like crazy complicated 
or if you had like a last minute, oh God, I forgot there was a bake sale or something at work or at school, these are, these are your go-to. They took no time at all and actually are really good. And obviously, as I say, they're really good because Queen Mary Berry told me what to do. But if I can make them, you can definitely make them. And then once you've scraped all of that out into your cases, you're just gonna bake them for 12 to 15 minutes or until your skewer comes out clean. So when you take them out and you stick your skewer in, and it comes out clean, they're done. In the meantime, you're gonna melt your butter and stir it um, around a bit so it doesn't boil or bubble or whatever. And then you're gonna sift in your cocoa powder and whisk it together. So this, for this, I did use my KitchenAid because I've become lazy. <laughs> I've just become lazier at baking but it really is the future. It really is the future. So just whisk those together. Again, smells really good. Then you're gonna slowly add your icing sugar bit by bit. So just spoon it in as you go. And if the mixture gets too thick, that's when you'll add any milk. Um, I didn't use all of the milk. Also, side note, I've been told I say milk funny. I almost say it like there's a W in it, like milk, but just try and ignore it. So yeah, as I say, you're gonna add your icing sugar slowly. It's still a messy job. I don't know how to make this less messy. So if someone could comment and let me know, that would be great. But my buttercream game is improving. I'm convinced it's improving. If you think back to some of my other videos, I'll link them in the description. My buttercream game, it's, it's getting there. So once it gets looking like this, you're kind of ready once your cakes are cool to get decorating. So I just used a piping bag and a nozzle. I'm not sure which kind of nozzle it was, but it looked like a star at the bottom. Um, and just make sure you do it when your cakes are absolutely cool. Otherwise your buttercream will melt and it's just, it's not what you want. So here I am decorating them. You can't really see it very well, but just give me a second and then it'll, the camera will focus all right. But there you go. I added the little sprinkles because obviously it should have been chocolate things. And my partner ate them. I'm not bitter about it, but I was, bitter about it for like five minutes when he told me and that is it that's all you've got to do and they are so delicious look at them they look so cute and I don't know how many calories are in them but just don't think about it they are so good 10 out of 10 recommend and that is the second in the installment of me trying different cupcakes throughout June but do let me know what other flavors you'd like me to try and I'll see you in the next one bye for now